Hey, what's up guys, I'm from BSC Tech. In today's video, I'll show you how you can create a bootable USB device uh, for Windows 7 installation. And uh, the first thing you need to do is go into this website, which is called Internet Archive. In the search area, you have to type Windows 7 ISO all in one. And then you will click on the go section, which means uh, it will bring up the results in front of you. Uh, wait for the search results to appear and then you can look on these as you can see that the first two images they are the most downloaded and the first uh, or the second one you can pick anything from here but we need all in one which means 32 and 64 bits so we will be clicking on this which is an iso file windows 7 all in one dvd released on august 2018 on the downloads option we have uh, the iso image then we have a torrent file we have a png file and then we will click on the iso image 4.3 gb of file size all together depending on your internet speed it will take quite some time if you have a faster internet probably another 10 15 minutes so let it finish and then you can put that iso file into a separate folder renaming it to windows uh, also you need uh, rufus which you can download from their official website i will uh, uh, share the link in the description below rufus is a utility designed for windows pcs in order to create bootable devices so uh, i'm going to open that i've already downloaded and installed on my system uh, the last version is 3.14 interface is quite simple and straightforward then you need to attach your empty usb which is at least 4 gb of built-in storage if you have usb 2 that's fine otherwise usb 3 will be better uh, on the disk image selection we need to select uh, the iso image which we have downloaded previously and then put them into a folder then after that don't touch anything other than the volume label which is uh, the file name you can change that based on your preference i would like to add this uh, with windows 7 description so i can remember that this usb is a flashable usb with windows 7 ntfs leave it as it is and uh, file size will automatically be calculated click on start when you see this ready button it will uh, delete all data on your usb flash drive which means it will erase everything and write down uh, uh, the iso file it will take some time depending on the speed of your computer so if you have a faster pc it will take between 10 minutes up to 30 minutes depending on the file size uh, so we will come back once uh, uh, the files are written and the usb is now ready as you can see on my screen it's all completed so volume label is also ready let me take you towards the files section where we have the drives on my computer so as you can see that we have windows uh, drive and uh, if you double click on the setup just to verify that the file is bootable and it's ready to install here we have windows 7 uh, installation page the best practice is to enable uh, boot from USB by going into your BIOS settings. If you don't know how to do that, you can also click F2 or F10 when you reboot your PC. It will take you to your BIOS settings page. From there, you can change the boot sequence. So this is very simple, guys. I hope this video has uh, helped you out in order to uh, download and create a bootable USB flash drive for Windows 7, which covers all segments for 32 and 64 bits. So if you have any feedback or comments, do let us know in the comment section below. I'll see you soon with another video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.